Hey everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Hyperium client in MultiMC. Okay, the uh, new installers that they've made, I believe it's for 1.2.2, uh, has now enabled an easy install in MultiMC. And some people have been asking for that for a while. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's actually really easy. So we need to go to hyperium.cc. I'll put a link in the description. And then you want to go to the downloads page for that and download the installer okay now for your system you're going to need java 8 uh, if you're running multi mc you'll need java 8 as well uh, so i'll leave a link in the description where you can get it try to get the windows offline 64 bit right here unless you have a 32 bit system okay uh, but try to get that offline install because the online install will install 32 bit and then uh, the Mac and Linux versions are on this page as well. I'll also do an install on Mac in this video, uh, just so you can see that. All right, so once you've downloaded that, uh, you should get this Hyperium Universal Installer.jar on your disk, all right? And so if you have Java installed, you could choose open with the platform SC binary. If you double click, it should open as well, and it'll open the installer, okay? So here's the installer. Now we need to get our multi MC application folder. All right. So wherever you have that, like your multi MC is probably called that unless you've changed the name. This is your multi MC folder. It's where your instances are and multi MC application and all that multi MC.exe on windows. All right. And we want to get the path to that. So click this little arrow in the address bar up here and we want to copy that address the the path to it on our clipboard so you can just right click and copy and paste right or you can select the way and right click and get the menu and choose copy and grab that all right so we want the path to that multi mc folder all right now we're going to select advanced mode here and it's going to say you should only enable this option if you know what you're doing would you like to continue uh yes we know what we're doing thanks to this video all right and then we need to take this path here double click on it and delete that that's the path to your system minecraft folder we don't want that we want to paste the path that we just got okay so if you did everything okay when you hit next it will work if you didn't do everything okay it'll give you a message that says that it's an invalid path okay to your minecraft so it'll let you know but here we're in good shape it let us know and here we're setting the memory uh, to two gig which is fine for the base install it tells you how much is on your system and all that kind of stuff you can up it if you want two gigs is enough so we'll select next that's going to be the version of hyperium that we want hit next then hit the uh, mods that you want okay now if you want to get optifine then you need to download that so to download it, go to Optifine.net. Only get it from Optifine.net. All right, under downloads, there's some fake sites out there that have viruses and stuff on them. So only get it from Optifine.net. Get it from down here. This newest version does support L5. So you can download that. Having ad blockers and stuff is good. Um, you know, stay safe out there, guys. All right, so I already have it down on my disk. So I'm going to choose Optifine. These are the mods I like. Maybe you like something different. Particle Mod, Oof Mod, Arrow Trails, uh, Quick Play. All right, those are the ones I like. You might like more. You could choose a combination of those, but choose the mods that you like. Hit Next. All right, it's going to ask you to browse for the Optifine jar. So we just do that. It'll take us out on disk. Here's my downloads folder. There's the Optifine jar that I downloaded, and I grabbed that. All right, so now I hit Next. It's going to ask us to agree to the privacy policies and all that. It's all good. Say OK. And it's going to download and install it. So now it's installing it into the multi MC instances folder. All right. That's what we want. So let it do it. Now it's downloading the add ons. All right. Now it's done. So we can close the installer. Now we can go back to our multi MC folder here and open it. And we'll see inside the instances folder. There will now be an instance named Hyperium 1.8.9, okay? And there it is. So it's installed. So when we open MultiMC, you can open it from the XE inside of there. If you have a shortcut or whatever, I have a shortcut out to it. Uh, and I do have a video on the channel where you could make a shortcut to this instance. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. 
you wanted to link to this as a shortcut on your desktop. All right, but there it is, Hyperium. Uh, that's the instance. So if I right click on it and I choose launch, you know, then it'll go ahead and launch. I can double click on it as well. But, all, uh, but also while it's launching, I can edit the instance to uh, see that here it is. It has the Minecraft 1.8.9 Optifine that I installed and the Hyperium 1.2.2, okay? And so all is good with that. So I can get the window uh, while it's loading here. Give it just a second, there it is. So it has a, uh, a background screen, a background menu while it's loading and everything should load fine. Now it's gonna have you agree to these terms and all that. Let's go ahead and make it full screen. Accept, confirm, accept. Turn off this loud music here. Come on, music. Crazy loud music in my head. Okay, and there you go. So now you have the Hyperium installed in your game. Okay, so that's cool. And then, you know, if you wanted to up the memory on it, you could go into settings here, MultiMC, you can see it already set the memory as we specified to two gigs, but you could raise that, do Java arguments, you know, regular MultiMC stuff, okay? So there you go, and then if you wanted to ever get rid of it, you can right click on it and choose delete from there, and it's gone. Okay, very, very cool. So now let me show you the same principles on Mac, basically. How to do it here's the hyperium installer here's a version of multi mc all right it's a little bit different on the mac which by the way for those that are interested in just windows thanks for watching guys please leave a like and all that don't leave yet leave a like subscribe be my friend all that kind of stuff all right so we're going to get the universal installer it's the same file for mac as it was for um windows that's fine we're going to let all this through Go into advanced mode. Yes, we are advanced users. We're gonna to go to next. We need to get rid of this file, this path like we did before. Now we need to get a path to our multi-MC. So wherever you have your multi-MC on the Mac, go into it, right? Go to the path for it. Like here's a version of it that I have here. And we want to right click on that guy and we wanna show package contents. Then we want to go into the contents. Then we want to go into the Mac OS. Okay. And then just select any folder inside of their instances is good and select get info on that guy. And then under the where on the get info, we want to select all this whole line up to Mac OS. Then we want to copy that. Uh, I think you can right click copy as well, but just, you know, copy it to your clipboard. All right. So there you go. Now you got the path to where MultiMC is, all right? So now we want to paste that path inside of here. And I'll just show you an example on the Mac that if if you have the path wrong like that, uh, it actually accepted that one, that's fine. Just because it was close enough. Let's say if I said uh, just any old thing, Minecraft, just whatever. I don't think it'll recognize this path, we'll see. Next, yeah. So there's a message you'll get. Your path is invalid, therefore the installer can't install property like to continue. No, don't continue. Okay, so be sure that path goes to the Mac OS folder. And the reason it's that is because the instances folder is inside of that, okay? See, your instances folder is inside of that. All right, so now we hit next and it'll accept that. Again, the two gig setting is good. Right there, that version is good. Um, I'm, I already showed you on Windows how to select these mods. I'm not going to go through and do it because I don't have this version of Optifine and stuff downloaded. But you just basically need to download your Optifine version and then the rest of the mods are fine. Okay, so you, I showed that in the Windows. Then we can agree and continue. Now it's going to ask to download and then it's going to download it and go ahead and install it into that multi MC. So if I open instances here, uh, it's right there, Hyperium 1.8.9, and it's right there in the window. So it installed it, same thing, edit instance, there it is, Minecraft Hyperium. Uh, 
If you wanted to add Optifine, you could just add it manually in here by choosing Add to Minecraft Jar and going out and browsing for your version of Optifine that you wanted. I do have an 8.9, I'm just not sure if I have the newest one. Uh, L5 is the newest one. I don't think I do. The 189. Let's see. Okay. No, I have U or I7. So there's a newer one than that. But anyway, you could select that and put it in like that, and that would work. All right. That would be just fine. That's what they're doing, basically. All right. Uh, so that's it for that. Choose launch. It'll launch fine. Um, and again, I'll go over in the windows. It's basically the same how you see it. And if you want to delete it, then right click and just choose delete. So that's how you install Hyperium in both Windows and in the Mac, guys. Pretty easy to do. Uh, and you know it's got a nice set of mods in it uh, for PvP type play or whatever. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. So Scott Omato, thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.